Welcome back to the YouTube channel everyone. In today's video, we are discussing three reasons why your workouts are not working for you and why they might not be as effective. A lot of times it's not the workout itself that's causing the issue. It's not the workout plan. It's not the routine that's not effective. It's these three reasons that I'm about to share with you. So instead of looking for what's best out there, we want to focus on looking for what's best for you. Something that works for you, something that you could adhere to, something that you could be doing more consistently instead of just doing it for a week. Here are three reasons why your workouts are not working for you. Number one, what you're gonna discuss about is program. So this is number one, program hopping. Too often, too many people that I talk to, I've asked them, how long you been doing this program for? And they would tell me, oh, I've been doing it for three weeks. And then all of a sudden they decide to switch to something else. And that's number one reason why it's not working. You haven't given up enough time. People tend to program hop because they see their friends on this workout routine. They see them getting results quickly and they wanna just do the same exact thing that their friend is doing. If you're just always program hopping, I like to compare this to sports. If you're just program hopping, you're just trying to learn how to play a new sport every single time. This leads me to the second point, you're constantly switching your exercises. Exercise selection. You're not giving enough time to practice those exercises, practicing those movements. Your body's not gonna be able to adapt. Your body's not gonna be able to change. You, you won't be able to progress in weights. You won't be able to do more rep. You'll just be in this constant loop running around in circles because you're just trying to learn new exercises all the time instead of progressing in a couple exercises that you enjoy doing. Making sure you're picking exercises that are helping you reach towards your goals. In terms of program hopping, how long you should be staying on a program? My recommendation is 90 days. Give yourself some time to work with that routine. 90 days should be enough time for you to see some change, see some results before you decide to change your program. Uh, but if the program is for 60 days, do it for 60 days. Finish that the entire program routine before you switch over and hop over to a new program. If you pick things that are most effective, it doesn't mean that's gonna be best for you. Best exercises, that's gonna help burn the most calories, but if that person can't stick to it and you're not gonna stick to it, there's no point of picking those exercises. So exercise selection is a big one. And one other thing is don't make it too complex and stop trying to be fancy with your exercises. A lot of times people want to be doing that cool 360 jump, right? They wanna be, ugh. Zero, uh, train it, uh, zero, uh, train it. Uh, uh. They want to be doing single hand push-ups. They want to be doing stuff on a stability ball. They want to be doing stuff on a half bosu ball. Um, that's not needed. If your goal is for fat loss, your goal is just to lose weight, to look better, to move better. You don't have to be doing fancy things. You're not jumping in the air, doing 360 turns on a daily basis. So why add it into your program? Unless you find it fun. If you find it fun, then go right ahead, add those exercises in. My goal with any individual and my recommendation is to keep it simple. And that's it. You don't have to go too crazy with uh, the exercise that you choose. And the last one is patience. I can't even spell. I think that's how you spell it. Patience, that's a big one. Probably the number one thing that ties all these things together is give yourself time. You're not gonna change overnight. You're not gonna lose 50 pounds overnight. Give yourself freaking time. Give yourself those 90 days, give yourself those 60 days, and then decide if you wanna change your program. Then decide if you wanna change exercises, and then decide if this thing is working or not. Um, a lot of times, these three things are the reason why many people, many people say their workouts are not working, or this is not working, or this diet is not working. It's because of patience. Make sure you have patience. Give it some time, stick through it, and I promise you, I promise you, you can see some type of results. Just to tie this thing all up, a lot of times it's not the program itself, it's just time and patience. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm trying to condense a lot of these videos to under 10 minutes, or maybe even five, uh, just so I could give more information and more concise matter. But if the topic is a little longer or the topic is a little more in depth, then I'm gonna take a longer time, of course, to explain everything. But these are my three reasons why your workouts are not working for you. And it's probably one of these reasons. So make sure you take a look at that. Um, check with yourself if you're constantly switching up your exercises or constantly changing your program. And are you being patient? All right, so if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, also comment down below uh, if you have any other questions on how I can help you with your exercise routine right now. 
and make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace